Lara here from The Unprofessional, and today I am building a retaining wall in front of a retaining wall. It's actually more like a raised, a raised bed, but it can be both, a retaining wall and a raised bed. I'm starting with a very basic blank masonry wall along my property line. Now my plan is to add a raised bed along the length of this entire wall, which gets tons of sun. Then eventually, I'm gonna install a paver patio. I am terrible at surprises, so here's a sneak peek at the final product. This raised bed is so sturdy, it could be a retaining wall all on its own. I used four by fours and cedar boards to make the box, then finish it off with a two by 10 bench top. Here, let me show you how I did it step by step. If you've done a lot of outdoor projects, you know that most of them start with digging, and this one was no exception. I started by clearing out the grass to create the shape of my bed. Rather than use a string, which would be in the way, I cut a piece of scrap wood to 24 inches and used it as a guide that I could move along the length of the wall. Next, I figured out how high I wanted my bed to be. Now, 18 to 20 inches is a pretty good height for a bench, so I decided on 18 inches, knowing that I'd be adding an extra 1.5 inch bench top. I drew a chalk line, the length of the wall, as a reference point. With the same piece of scrap wood, I made the shape of my box, which I used with a level in the chalk line to create an even trench for my post holes and eventually the horizontal cedar boards. I checked the level with a four x four and was ready to mark the spots for my post holes. I ran a string line, then promptly removed it because string just gets in the way. With the post holes marked, I dug down 13 inches. This is probably a little overboard considering that only 18 inches of the post would be above ground, but this is going to double as a bench, so I wanted it to be extra strong. Once I had my inspector's approval, I started filling the holes with an inch of gravel and then used Sandcrete fast setting concrete to set each post. I find this step much easier with an extra set of hands. One person to add the concrete and one person to hold the post level and make sure it's plumb. To see how I set posts with Sandcrete, you can watch the short video linked at the end of this video. I worked hard and was extra careful to make each post level and parallel to one another. Since I'd be attaching cedar one by sixes along the back, it was really important to have this as close to exact as possible. At this point, I wasn't worried about the post height, although that was eventually a crucial step to ensure that the bench was level and evenly supported. With the posts all set, I was ready to even off the tops with a circular saw. Now my blade wasn't big enough to cut through the whole post, which is a problem when you need a clean level cut. So I made a jig that I could clamp onto the posts at the right height, taking into account the fence on the saw. Then I just made two cuts, one on each side, and it worked out great. All right, now for the fun part, I get to attach the cedar boards to my posts. Now you might notice that there's twice as many posts as there were originally. I didn't like the original spacing, so I added an extra post in between. My project is a raised bed alongside an established retaining wall. If this was going to be a retaining wall and I didn't have this brand new retaining wall behind me, there are a few modifications that I would make. One, I would use something much thicker than the one by six inch um, cedar boards that I'm using. Second, I would put in a perforated pipe along the edge. I'm not going to do that because I know there's a perforated pipe right behind this wall. Um, also, I would backfill with gravel, but because this is a raised bed and I'm controlling the type of soil I'm using, I'm not going to do um, a gravel backfill either. Um, so like I said, you can do this same style for a retaining wall with those modifications, but mine is just going to be a raised bed against an established retaining wall. Now to cut my cedar boards. I set up my cutting station and all I had on hand was a green plastic training potty. So I used that to prop up my cedar boards. Cedar is so lightweight and easy to work with, plus it's rot and weather resistant. So it makes for a fabulous outdoor building material. I started by attaching the top board to make sure that everything lined up to the top of the posts. Any gaps at the bottom could be filled in later with rock or dirt. If you're working alone, you can never have enough clamps. They are almost as good as having a second pair of hands. And then I attached the boards to the back of the posts. Four screws at each connection point was a little overboard. So for the rest of the time, I actually only used two screws. And can someone get me a different bit because this one keeps falling out of my impact driver. Because the one by sixes were set behind the posts, I didn't have to worry about staggering the seams. 
With the weight of the soil evenly distributed across the posts, the seams won't matter. Now, if I place the boards across the front, I would stagger the seams. Next, I slid my bench top onto the posts. Now, an addition I made to my original plan was that I added a two x two across the front of the four x fours. This gives me extra support for the bench and also another place to attach the bench top. I checked the level across the sections of the bench top, but I didn't screw them in yet. I used the bench top as my guide for the two x two placement and attached them across the four x fours right under the bench top. You can see here how this plan creates kind of a frame for the bench top to attach to. Next, I had to figure out how to attach my sides to the masonry wall. I didn't have a helper, so I used scrap wood to support a two x four. Now all my posts are pressure treated and this is important whenever you're cementing any kind of wood into the ground. I cemented in the two x four flush with the outside part of the four x four, then attached the cedar, this time to the outside. There was excess concrete from the footer of the masonry wall, so I used a contour gauge to transpose the shape directly onto a piece of cedar, and I used my jigsaw to cut out that shape. I used my miter saw to make 45 degree angle cuts at the end of each bench. I attached the bench top through the top of the 4x4s with decking screws and underneath through the 2x2s. This minimized the number of screws visible on the top of the bench, which looks a lot cleaner. Then I lined up the two sides and attached those as well. I added two screws where the miter edges connected to make sure they stayed together. Then I sanded it down, cleaned it off, and applied a few coats of stain. I'm so happy with how this turned out. It really softens the masonry wall and gives me a space to grow all sorts of things. Now I just need to finish off the pavers and make this kid a proper sandbox. Thanks for watching. This has been Lara from The Unprofessional. To see written instructions for this project and other DIY projects, visit my website, theunprofessional.com. And if you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe.